While sitting, the effort to come back to the abdomen eventually ruins my vigilance and concentration, whereas following experiences mindfully as they naturally unfold helps me remain mindful. Isn't it contrary to the teachings? What should I do? No, it's not contrary to the teachings necessarily. Now again, you have to be honest with yourself, which we often aren't, I'm sorry to say. Um, when you're actually, when the problem is actually bringing the mind back or when the problem is simply uh, the suffering that you have in the mind and the disinclination to deal with it. So sometimes when we come back to the present moment, uh, when we come back to the here and now, it's unpleasant because our mind is inclined to go with it, to, to enjoy things and to be uh, fluid and to um, just let the mind go as it let the mind go after chase after objects, which is disrupted by the practice of mindfulness. So there's there's two there's two aspects. When you force your mind back to the stomach, that's wrong because it's it's not not being uh, honest with yourself about the nature of reality. You're you're um, deluding yourself about the idea that you have some kind of control and can can benefit from trying to force things. But by letting your mind go and uh, just following after whatever whatever comes up, then you incline instead towards laziness and indulgence. You know, there's the potential to indulge and to, to enjoy experiences and give rise to liking and attachment. So one experience that comes up is not a um, it's not ruining your vigilance but it's going to ruin your uh, sense of enjoyment which we call concentration so it's quite common for people to say this practice is ruining my concentration it's designed to do that because your concentration is concentration is not uh, not necessarily wholesome you see you can be concentrated on a bad thing. Angry people can be, maybe not from an Abhidhamma point of view, but can be in some way very, very much focused. Um, you can be very much focused on sensual desire. You know, you, you get caught up in uh, watching a movie or, or listening to a song and you can become very much uh, entranced by it in a bad way, you see, because there's a, there's a whole bunch of, of sensual attack, uh, of defilement in there. And so by breaking that up, it's, it's unpleasant. You know, it's like I don't, crying like a child. When the child gets what it wants, it's totally at peace and it's totally focused. Uh, when, when you take, the, take its toy away from it, it starts to whine and complain. And so that's essentially what the mind does when you bring it back to the present moment. It whines and complains. So I would say oftentimes you're not actually forcing the mind back, you're just choosing something neutral, which the mind doesn't like. The mind doesn't want to come back to the stomach. That's boring, that's useless, that's uninteresting. And that's the point. The point is to keep you on something that's not going to intoxicate you, which uh, the mind doesn't like. So the mind is like, I much more prefer to go after these interesting things and enjoyable things. And that's mostly what you're feeling. now. If and when you're actually forcing them, that's mo not you, but that's mostly what people feel, and I'd imagine in many, in much of what you're feeling is that. That's my guess. But there is, there are people who force themselves. So when something comes up, they ignore it, and instead go back, uh, force themselves to stay with one object. So that's not good. When something does come up, you're you're to acknowledge it. Now, once you've acknowledged it best advice is to go back to the rising and falling without paying attention to what's going to come next. It will be uncomfortable to do that in many cases because the mind isn't interested in the rising and falling. The mind wants to chase after more enjoyable things, which is not beneficial, which is a problem because it, uh, it, it encourages defilement and delusion and, and, and the idea of, of permanence, of stabi stability and so on, which we're all trying to all of which we're trying to overcome.